And this is problem five from page, I believe it's 341 in your book. And it's a pretty good problem because it does include a bigger table and also a significance level and chi square. So this is what it says. The hair and eye color of, uh, colors of 150 randomly selected individuals are shown in the table below. Now, we only have to use calculator for this. We're not going to be doing this manually. And what we need to do is find, um, the, uh, or basically test at a 5% level whether there is an association between hair color and eye color. What? Well, this is basically what it says. It asks you to find at alpha of 5% whether your null hypothesis is true or not true. So we're going to rewrite this in uh, statistical terms. So H uh, or null hypothesis is that there is no association, no association, no relation between between eye and hair color. So this is our null hypothesis. Our um, significance level is going to be 5%. For this significance level, our chi-square is given to us at 1259. And we can actually find this ourselves. We can find the degrees of freedom ourselves by using a formula from the book. So degrees of freedom actually has a really simple formula. It's, um, it equals to, uh, let's just say X minus one times Y minus one, where X is the number of columns and Y is the number of, um, rows. So in, in here we have four columns. So that's going to be four minus one and number of, um, uh, rows is three, three minus one. So it equals to three times, two, which is six. We have degrees of freedom of six. So we're looking at this particular uh, area of a table. Now, usually this will be given to you on a test because you're not given this table. You're only given this table in certain books in university. And basically in university, you do have to know how to do this by hand. But here we're just going to be finding all of this on the calculator. And significance level is given to us as well. So 5% and the value for 5% is right here. It's 1259. That is why we're given this value. So uh, let's just uh, go ahead and try to figure this out. So we need to test this using the chi-square uh, independence test. So to do this, we're going to be using only calculator. And basically this is how you're going to be doing this on the test. So once again, go into the matrix, which is second X to the power of minus one and go to edit and change your matrix. First of all, this is a three by four matrix. So three down four, right? So it has to look just like you have on your picture. So three by four. Uh, and now we're entering the value. So first value is 14 and so on. So we enter the values into each of the cells of the matrix. And once you have all of the values entered, you're going to go into stats, tests, and then on the bottom, past the numbers at C, you'll have chi square test. Click on it, observe value. Yes, expected values don't change, doesn't change. And click on calculate and you get your answer. So let's think about it. So DF is six, the degrees of freedom are six, and this is what we found as well. So, uh, the reason why I wanted to show you this is because I wanted you to understand how it's done manually. But essentially, your DF is also found via calculator. Uh, so degrees of freedom is six. Th this shows you the p-value, which is something we'll talk about in the next video. And your chi-square is shown to you here. So 18.4, it's just 18.4. So the value for chi-square for this table is 18.4. Chi-square is 18.4, uh, which is actually more or higher than our significant uh, value or critical value for chi. Uh, the critical value is the term that refers to the maximum number that chi can be uh, for all of these values to be independent. As soon as chi square is higher than this critical value, it means that there's some kind of a relationship. It means that there is a connection or a correlation between uh, this eye color and this hair color. So here we're going to rewrite this. We're going to write that uh, our chi-square is higher than 12.59. Therefore, we are going to reject our uh, null hypothesis. It's rejected. So in other words, you can even write on the bottom. In other words, there is, what, what was the question? Uh, there is an association. There is an association between hair color uh, and eye color, between hair and eye color. And so that's basically the answer. So the answer is yes, there is an association 
and because our chi-square was higher uh, than the critical value of chi-square allowed for this particular um, significant value of 5%. And that's essentially it for the first video, first part of chi-square discussion. And in the next video, we're going to do slightly more challenging problems and talk more about chi-squares. But basically, that's it. So chi-squares are these independence tests that uh, allow you to see if there's a correlation or if there's a connection between two particular terms. So uh, two values, in this case, it's eye color and hair color. And uh, you can use this to find various different things. And it's often used in science and in various uh, fields like even psychology, where it's usually uh, used to calculate your, your hypothesis or basically a relation or some kind of effect of something on something else. Anyway, so that's it. Thank you for watching and good luck to you. Bye-bye.